Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at season 4 of Orphan Black. So in this season, the Clone Club have to contend with a new product of Neolution called Bot Therapy, as well as an organization called Brightborn Industries. Now when it comes to Orphan Black as a whole, I always consider season 4 to be on the weaker end of the spectrum. But even then, it's still excellent TV. You know, this is one of those shows where you can't go wrong with any season. So let's get into it. So first of all, this season opens by doing the unthinkable and starting things off with a flashback episode. One that is set prior to the events of the show and introduces a hacker by the name of MK. From a storytelling perspective, this was a very risky move, but it's one that definitely paid off due to just how contextual this episode was in the grand scheme of things. Sarah delves into Beth's past in order to figure out a possible connection between her and Neolution. Helena discovers that she is pregnant with twins and gets caught up in a situation that involves Allison and Donnie in particular when they find themselves in some hot water following season 3, resulting in one of the most memorable, intense, yet hilarious subplots in the show's history. Cosima may be upset about Delphine's disappearance following the tail end of season 3, though she pulls through and does her best to aid the clone club in their efforts. Susan Duncan, the adoptive mother of Rachel, who is revealed to be alive at the end of season 3, is currently taking care of Rachel and is on a mission to assassinate Kendall Malone, a woman who served as the genetic template for the Costa and Lita clones all throughout the show. The season also introduces Brightborn Industries, a corporation that has developed maggot bots. These implantable medical devices are designed to deliver gene therapy solutions to its host, depending on their needs. And this is interesting considering some of the characters have been implanted with these devices. And the finale was the icing on the cake, ending on a slew of interesting cliffhangers to get the ball rolling for the final season. Now the only downside to season 4 is that in order to tell the story the writers ended up telling, some characters needed to take a bit of a backseat, at least temporarily. So yeah, those are my thoughts on season 4 of Orphan Black. Next time we're going to be looking at the 5th and final season, so look forward to that very soon. Thank you all for watching guys, please be sure to like the video, share it and subscribe. Ring the bell, take care and I'll see you soon.